One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. What's up guys, it's Harry Oss here. And today I'm just going to be going over two trades plus like kind of some uh, thought process going into the year and just some rules that I had kind of written down before. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So these were some of my kind of opening thoughts uh, for today. Um, you know, I know that I had written these a couple days before and after hours, but I'd really like to kind of go over them a little bit more in depth. Um, you know, again, there were some kind of after hours thoughts after the kind of close and I thought I would just kind of you know go over them again because um, it's nice to kind of uh, maybe hear me say them and maybe kind of hear me talk about them so kind of some of my after hours thoughts were um, and these are just kind of rules that I have kind of almost made for myself like thoughts that I almost use like well I do use every single day and again I just thought that it might be cool to kind of go over them so one is that you know, if my line doesn't force me to be patient for it, then it's not going to be my line. And I think that that's a really, really big one to overcome because when you're a bit of a newer trader and maybe, you know, maybe you have some experience under your belt, right? Um, just waiting and being super, super patient can help you so, so much. Um, it's really, really important that you kind of sit, you wait, you be super, super patient, methodical, precise, almost like a sniper. And that's something that I use every single day. And if I just kind of, you know, look to my right and I see that I had drawn a line from before, but I, I didn't really plan for it or, you know, maybe um, maybe it, it was it was something I didn't plan for. I had missed another one and now I'm going to try and go into that one. Chances are that's not really going to be it. So you, you really need to be patient. You need to wait, um, get a plan and just just, you know, just stick to it. Number two is that high a day is a great spot for shorts to stop out, but a terrible place to go long. It gives you really bad RR and chances are there is a seller absorbing the short covers. And so kind of the name of the game is that, you know, if I'm a manipulator, what I want to do is I want to get all the shorts at the lows, you know, maybe, maybe I, I start buying at the lows. We have a ton of people short there. And then I move the stock up super high. The shorts, you know, sell into my um, my buy orders from before, or sorry, the shorts kind of cover into my sell orders because when a, when a short needs to cover, you know, they're like a committed buyer. They need to press the buy button. And so you have these short sellers who are now selling into maybe a manipulator's position or something like that. And, you know, after after that kind of transaction occurs, there's no real reason to keep the stock up. So the stock ends up kind of falling back down again. And, you know, so that's one reason I'm always weary going long over high a day. Again, if we feel like we are wrong, we're going to look to, we're, we're you know, we're going to just stop out right away. That could be three cents, five cents, uh, 10 cents. We know when we're wrong. We know when it's not going to work. We're out right away. Um, whole and half numbers are amazing resistance, but terrible support. And... If we do have an amazing, amazing, amazing support level lining up with a with a whole or half dollar, um, then maybe I might look to say, okay, well, we have the whole and half dollar thing. We have a good support area. This might work. It's just like VWAP, right? VWAP's usually not a great support either because usually there's not a great support level to line up with VWAP. So that f for that reason, you know, I'm not going to be looking to get in around there, right? And so... I, I don't want to get long at a price just because it's it's a price. I'd rather I'd rather sell into 150 because I know all the longs realize that 150 is always a really really hard resistance to get by, right? Um, VWAP isn't a, a great support either in less pre-market. Pre-market it seems that VWAP tends to work a bit better. Um, I've noticed a lot of the time. Um, VWAP has worked very, very well in pre-market, but then after the open, we have all these kind of VWAP people who, who, who say VWAP's my strategy, right? And so that really doesn't, that's, that's not always worked as well. Um, I'm either long with the big move or I miss it. No point in trying to film win it on the backside. This has been something that has saved me a lot. 
Um, if I feel like I missed, if a stock went from a dollar to five dollars, and now we're slowly, slowly fading and trickling back down, you know, there's no real reason for me to try and get in just because I feel like I've missed it. If anything, I'm gonna be try, I'm gonna try and be more patient. I'm gonna try and, uh, you know, really, really sit and wait for kind of the best opportunity because usually by the time it gets to my line, I don't really want to long it anyway because you know. All these longs are FOMOing in, FOMOing in. They're all kind of getting bagged on top of each other. And, you know, you get in a situation where all these longs and all these uh, these chasers, these longs, everyone's starting to sell, and it just kind of causes a domino effect. So if you're attached to your PL on, P and L on the day, uh, don't keep trading, even if, yeah, exactly. Right. So if you are attached, if you are looking at your PL saying, wow, I'm up, I'm up a grand, I'm up two grand, I'm up 600 bucks. This is a lot for me. I, I, I can't believe it. You know, at that point, that's that's your, your sign to walk away. Because you are going to have all those emotions kind of you're going to you're going to be so emotional if you even lose a dollar. If it goes from 600 to 599 or it goes from 1000 to 999 you know, you're going to be attached, you're going to be emotional, you're going to be upset. And that's why you need to just walk away, you need to you need to get out of there, you need to get out of that situation, and you need to to get step away from the screen, right? If there are too many plays, I sit out and wait for the hot chick to come. Yep. So there's all the, there's been times, you know, where I've been a little confused at the open. And I've said to myself, wow, like, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I, I, I've made eight plans, you know, we have so much going on, I need to sit out for a little bit, right? It is okay if you sit out the first, you know, hour and say, all right, I'm going to wait till zombie. Or it's also okay if you say to yourself, you know, I, I don't really know what's going on here. I don't understand what's going on here. I don't understand what the hot chick is. We have uh, three mediocre stocks, the, the attention is spread out, I'm not sure what's going on, it's okay to sit out in that situation, you know, I would rather make a plan on, you know, one to three than make a plan on eight, but also, if, if you can't even identify those one to three, if you can't even identify your top setups, then what are you doing, you know? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley, I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot, it is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Number 11, the same as number one. If it's not forcing you to be patient, if the trade is not requiring you to be patient, then that's not it, right? That's not going to be be your trade, right? Um, and again, I talk about patience a lot because it's the most important thing. Um, for, for my trading, you literally see in Alex's Twitter bio, patience is in capital letters, right? We are very, very patient. We're not going in all the time. We're not going guns blazing. It's easy to say I'm gonna be a patient trader, on a Sunday, a Saturday, or on a Friday evening, or a Thursday evening, or a Wednesday evening, because you're not trading then. So it's very, very easy to say you're going to be, it's easy for me to say on January 1st, when the markets are closed, I'm gonna be a patient trader today, guys. You know, I'm gonna be a patient trader when the market opens on Monday. I'm gonna be that guy, I'm gonna be a patient trader. And then when it opens, you get all flustered, you don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden you're down, you know? What happened to the patients that you were talking about on the weekend, bro? You know, and it's like, oh, well, so, I mean, again, you have to be a patient, tra if you say you're gonna be a patient trader on, on Sunday or Saturday, you have to apply that mindset on Monday. Um, you know, also drawing lines in, in bad areas can tempt you to get in too early, you know? If you're drawing a line, in, in, in an area that you shouldn't, right? If you're drawing a resistance level on like an outer range support level, well then chances are that's not going to be your line if you're trying to short into it. It's just like trying to draw a support level at where a resistance level is supposed to be drawn, right? I mean, that's not it. That's not gonna be your line. The thing is about chasing is that 
you you can be a good trader for 300 days and one day give in to your chase habit and that can ruin your next week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks if you give in to that kind of chase habit, right? And so that's why it's really, really important to say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to chase. I'm not going to give in to the kind of chasing mindset, that chasing mentality, right? Because if you do do that, you're putting yourself at risk for, you know, you're potentially trading for the next 10 years, right? Because you risk, you know, getting into those old bad habits again. And when you get into those old bad habits again, you know, that puts your your profits on the year at risk, that puts your account at risk, that puts everything at risk. So it's really, really important that you don't go back to those bad habits. It's just like slamming the bid into support, right? You're slamming, 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 the stock's not going lower because we're at a support level. And then you end up getting squeezed out on the way higher. And then you do it again. Cause you're like, oh, well it worked the first time. So, or, you know, or maybe, you know, maybe it didn't work the first time, but because you have that bad habit back in place, you are stuck now, you know, with those bad habits again. And you see the next opportunity present itself. And even though it didn't work the first time, or maybe it does work the first time, maybe you get rewarded, support breaks, we slam lower. You're like, wow. I don't know why I, I don't know why I didn't stop slamming the bit at the lows. Next time it happens, boom, you get squeezed. Or maybe you get lucky three times and then boom, you get squeezed. And then you're like, oh, but it worked three times before, so that means I can do it again. Boom, another one, boom, another one. You're like, wow, what's going on with me? You know, this isn't like me. Again, I have another rule. You know, I want to walk into my profits quickly. I wanna I wanna be up quickly. I want to be in the money quickly in this scenario. I'm in the money quickly, right? So, you know, take it, trimming some off up here. We start going higher, trimming, 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 done. And, you know, it was really perfect. We also had BNGO running, right? BNGO had tanked. The money had flown into this one. I had already had a great average. And that was kind of the play on this one, right? So, again, pretty straightforward. Just kind of, I'm, I'm using these kind of support lines as a guide and letting the rest kind of flow. Um, oh yeah, this is one that I wanna kind of talk about as well. Day two, first bounce. Um, so again, I've talked about this one before often. I have an entire video on this one as well. I got a lot of messages about BNGO day two. Um, so I'll kinda, of, I'll kinda of go over this a little bit as well. So again, on the day two, it needs to be the hot chick again for the second day in a row. It's usually at the top of the scanner. Usually people are talking about it. It's a main one. It had ran before. It has attention. That's one that is really, you know, something I like, right? We have people talking about it. We have uh, it at the top of the scanner. It has attention. Um, you know, it's also a day two. Um, people who had shorted kind of near the, the previous close or maybe people who had shorted near the, the even people who decided to hold it overnight short are now a little bit underwater. We have those people kind of panicking. That's perfect. You know, I don't go searching for them. They're going to come to me. I'm going to kind of look down the scanner or I'm going to kind of look down in main chat. I'm going to I'm going to hear people talking about it and say, wow, judging from the prior day or I remember this one from yesterday. This is a day two. Perfect right? Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.